Hey furry friends, it's the Moms of Furries. Hi. I'm Carrie. I'm Joelle. And Jolene. 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 We are a mess. <laughs> so, and this is not alcohol folks, this is exhaustion, but we are happy. It's just our natural silliness. We are euphoric from running in the fitness center. You see, we've see? been killing it. Yeah. Is that true? No. What happened was, we, see we're swimmers, we're gonna swim. And um, Wait, show me your bikini. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. You don't have to worry. It's okay. It's not a bikini. <laughs> we were going to record by the pool. We thought, oh, we'll go down this evening and record. But there's like all these people here. Yeah, and we're not at the con space, so it's not a bunch of furries because that probably would have even been okay. Yeah, it's just these loud. Just... It's Orlando, so there's lots of families and yeah. they're swimming and frolicking. And so we went over to the spa. And guess what? It was full of kids also. Lots of kids in the spa. Where will we find no people? Fitness center. <laughs> guess what? It's empty. I know you're shocked. <laughs> at 1030 at night. Who yeah, nobody's working it? out. So we are going to do some uh, um, free weights. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. She's lying. We're, we're going to do this video and then we're going to go to the bar outside. That sounds probably more realistic. So we just came into exercise, <laughs> and we just looked at them weirdly, and they left. So I think yeah. they even said, oh, we'll, we'll come back. <laughs> just looking around. We look like this. <laughs> so, day two of Megaplex 2018. Yeah. So, last night I feel like I, I was being pretty rough on Megaplex. What do you think? I think so. I think you're being honest with your opinions about the venue. And we talked about the, the stand-up show, not that there was anything wrong with it, but I think no. we we're just being honest. Right. But today has been amazing. We had the best day. It's probably been one of the best days of any of the cons. I'm going to go so far as to say we had the best experience yet. I agree. Our best con experience like the one thing that we really like stands out happened today and who was it joelle that we hung out with we got to hang out with with kiwi just a little bit yeah we're name dropping kiwi totally did that we did it was amazing he is so nice and smart and funny so and smart and such a cutie pie and just yes. like all of the things he is all of the things he is all of those things and more. And he made us feel so welcome. And he was so kind. So kind to us. I tell you. Don't make me cry. Girl, because you better stop. We did that too. We had some somebody really opened up to us. Like It was very people, unexpected. So it was. And we were walking in a corridor and we're like, hey, nice to meet you. We love you. We love you. And they went la, into la, talk, la, 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 la. And then they said, I'm gonna share something, and it got really personal. And we're used to people wanting to share their story with us, like how they became a furry or about their parents, how their parents feel and stuff like this. But this was a really, really personal, like they shared a part of themselves with us. And honestly, we're in all of, all of us, there were like five or six of us in total standing together in the walkway at Megaplex, bawling our eyes out. It was... It, yeah, it was. I mean, it was emotional, but it was amazing too that the, the person felt like they could give that to us. So he shared so much of himself with us and was so honest. Yes. And then I shared a bit, and more than we share typically. Yeah, we typically some things that we we keep within our families because we just don't want to give information that's not ours to give. Right, and um. And then someone else shared. And, uh, and then we were just bawling. Stop it. I'm not going to. So we were just like blubbering idiots. Like but we were blown, blown away that they, they wanted to, to give that, share that with us. So even though it was super emotional and pretty heavy. It, pretty yeah, heavy, it, was, it was big stuff. It was... Part beautiful. of what made this day such, it was beautiful, and, and part of what made this day such amazing. Ooh, oh my gosh, we ran into someone, and I don't think we got their name, and if we did, we're sorry, that came to Megaplex 
because of our one of our posts um, on Reddit, I think. I, I can't remember his name, but what a sweetheart. So if you watch this, just know how much we really appreciate you. That was so sweet. We met a lot of people today and... Today was really overwhelming. It was a bit much. Like I feel kind of emotionally exhausted. Yes, and I feel like we've not really, we've we've talked a little bit about it, but we've not really processed all, like, the whole day. It was a lot, and in a great way, in a great way. It's just, you know, the, the community amazes us every time. So It really does. Uh, what? Go. Oh, I was just going to say, like, to, to start out the day, first of all, we're here with my sister. She is an Orlando resident. I used to live in Orlando, as you know, I've mentioned so many times, cast member. Um... And so she was generous enough to book a hotel, and she stayed with Joelle and me, and or we stayed with her, I guess. Yeah, we, we, yeah, technically. <laughs> and she was our photographer the whole weekend. So wonderful! Like it's been really great to have that. Yeah, and she really helped us, um, kind of coach us because we get tunnel vision because we're so genuinely excited, and uh, and we expressed this earlier to someone like we we do get tunnel vision. We see what's in front of us. And sometimes we are never ignoring anybody ever, 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 but we- Not purposely. Not purposefully, that's what I mean. Um, but she gave us a little more awareness and, and something we're really trying to get better. So if you're trying to get our attention, just like smack us around a little bit, hey, hey, because- It's unintentional. Always, we love you all. Yeah, we do. We do. So we so had that great, we had breakfast with my sister and we went over to the con. Um, and the first week parade was today. We met more kids. Yes. Young furries. So many young furries here. Like, so many. <sighs> go ahead. No, go. No, you go. And I'll I didn't, jump in. I didn't have anything. So, we were at the, um, after the first suit parade. Is that when we were sitting there? Uh-huh. That is correct. And then we saw dads, or what we assumed to be dads. So we asked them if they were dads, and they weren't together. I'm saying like separately. We saw young furries with we saw various male dads that look like they would be dads, and so we asked them if they were dads. And they were we, in fact dads. They were dads. We and said dads we, a lot of times. <laughs> fathers, not dads. Oh, Dutch angel dragon. Somebody called us out on that on Twitter for clear, fathers. They were fathers of children. Do you know who Dutch angel dragon is? A dad. The dad that we stood in the hallway talking to. Mm-hmm. We'll let it sink in. So anyway, um, um, I don't want it to sink in while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Carrie bravely asked, because I was being a wimp, if they would let us interview them. Because, you know, we're always looking for parents to interview. Um, and they all said no, like every one of them yeah, said no. Yeah, but I very bravely <laughs> walked up to a random man and said, hi, you don't know us. We have a YouTube channel and we'd love to interview you. Sound good? I would love to know what they were thinking. Unbelievably, like, well, they said no. I walked up with her as she said, hi. Hey, this might be <laughs> <moms> strange. Are <laughs> <laughs> They've never like, yeah. been to a con before. They don't, they like the one dad was like, this is weird. <laughs> they were not feeling it. <laughs> we're like, could you, can we record can we, that? <laughs> the other guy was like, I'm really uncomfortable. This seems weird. Could we record you saying that? He <laughs> said, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself that I did that. Because that was very forward. <laughs> we had a dad say, I'm only here because mom couldn't come. And then one said, Mom I would don't, do it. I don't speak English. Yeah, like he said. but I kept talking to him, I, and he did this. I did, I think he spoke English. Well, yeah, because when we were talking to his daughter about her fursuit head, he, he was, was following like, along like in the right places. But you know, in fairness, it could be that his English isn't strong, and so he, didn't he didn't feel, feel comfortable. comfortable. I know. I'm just giving a hard time. I but just don't want us to get any notes. We understand. We do. We're just joking around, but. The gist of it is, no to talk to father will talk to us. So I guess that's okay. It's okay. But we tried. Um, and okay. then we saw Asian game, Furry, game show? Yeah, or experience. Asian game show experience. That one. Yeah. It was good. It was fun. 
It was. But we had to leave there because we wanted to catch the fur, fur tubers. tubers. <laughs> and we wanted to make sure to watch that, and that was so great. Well, and here's what happened. Here's what happened. So and we're like, oh, is it? It's panel room number two. And we go and we look. There it is. Was it three? It was two. Two. It was two. And we walk in. Oh, it's Nas. <sighs> <laughs> he was like right in the center. So we were like, <sighs> so we walk in. And we sat and, down. And he waved at us. And we about died. We fell out there. We almost died. Onto the aisle. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> Nas, I'm sorry. I know it seems like we're dripping with love, but that's only because we are. We are. You are. Sorry. Sorry. So that was really, we were like, eee, squee. We've become horrible. We just love you guys. Oh. We're fan mamas. I think that's what we are. We're fan momming. We are. We totally fan mom. We fan mom. So the Furtuber conference. Somebody coming. No. Ah. <laughs> Don't edit it out. <laughs> We're hiding in a fitness center. <laughs> Dude, somebody wants to be up in the gym just working on their fitness. We'll be like, we're sorry. A video. We are keeping people from being healthy. Come on. Just for like 10 minutes. Well, more like than 20. That, or whatever. <laughs> so, so the first Uber, uh, that was panel, a good, it was, was people were asking useful. good questions yeah, and they were getting great, great answers. To, and yeah, it was good. We really enjoyed it. And then, um, we passed, or they passed around, weren't we? We were not a part of the panel. It was like people that know things. Passed around a, a sign-up sheet to join a Telegram chat. Chat. The See? Telegram. I am signing up for the Telegram conversation. Click, 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 click. Sorry. We are so We're sober. Exhausted. Okay. And. So, you say it. They said hi to us, and it was crazy, and then we died again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. In the panel, they like acknowledged us when they saw that we were on the chat. That was yeah. You guys don't know what it is. Oh, it means so much, yeah. so much. It was really cool, and then we fan mommed again. We did. We did. And. Then we went and did a cool thing. We hung out with our friend Kiwi. We did get to hang out. I'm gonna say those. he's our friend. I hope he's our friend. Are you our friend? We think we're gonna just say you are, and he's, you can correct us if you're we're wrong. I mean, you could tell everybody that we're not friends, but I, you I mean, could if you really felt like you needed to. But you could also like qualify and say like, oh, they're my mom they're, friends. They're my mom friends. They're all right. Yeah, that's okay. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. So we did that for kind of a while, and that was neat. A little while. That was cool to hang out. And then we went with my sister to have dinner, and a waitress threw cookies at me. <laughs> no, we finished the dance competition. We, got, we were oh, able to get there to do a little bit. We did. We watched some of the dance competition. And it was amazing again. We, we hate cool. that we did miss some of it because we know that. But it was worth it. it but was it was worth, worth it to hang out with Kiwi. Totally worth it. Totally. <laughs> and then and we went to Laguna for dinner where a waitress oh, threw cookies at me. You guys, this was the best and worst waitress ever. She was funny. Hilariously. She didn't care what we wanted to not eat at or all. anything. Girls, do you know what you want? I'll do be you know back. now? Like, I mean, do right you know now? What you want? I'll be back. <laughs> wait, wait, is it good? I'm not. Do you like it? <laughs> do you want some cookies? No. I said, no, listen, listen. She said, do you, you want some it? cookies? <laughs> you guys ready for some cookies? You want some cookies? And I said, well, I did say, did say. I said, I, I'm always in the mood for cookies, but no, no, no cookies. You know when she shut down? When she thought I'm she was in yes. the mood for cookies. <laughs> and I swear she said, what? I swear she thinks Joelle said, and throw them at this bitch. Because <laughs> she did. <laughs> she walked by and suddenly threw three cookies at the table and carried. <laughs> what just happened? It was a drive-by cookie. It was a drive-by cookie eating. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was funny. Yes. I didn't mind it. Now she did um, put onions on my sister's steak, so she that was good. she was kind of bummed. But our steaks were delicious. It was really. It was good. perfect. It was so. perfect. So yeah, that was great. Yeah. No, but she was. She was like, she was not a great waitress for us. Maybe she was having an off day, and let's give that to her. But and she, she was, was really not interested at all in what we wanted or if we were enjoying it, like right at all. But she was not a great waitress in a funny way. Yes. I we'll be talking it. about her for a long time. She you know, added to the experience. She did. Like if you go to Dick's Last Resort or something like this, that. She would be perfect. Yeah, but this was just, you know, unexpected for the <laughs> venue. So We weren't at Dick's. 
So. But it was fun. It was a lot and of fun. And the steak was delicious. And then. And then. And then we were talking because we have a very early flight. So early, y'all. So, so early. So we were like, oh my gosh, it's so early. Why go to bed at all? So Carrie can get up early, Because how much worse could this get? <laughs> Not a lot worse. I was having no problem, by the way, getting up at 3 a.m. I would have a gigantic problem. So, I think I could get up at 3 a.m. I mean, because you do every day. Yeah. But then it's really midnight. Oh, that's true. So anyway, I mean, I would say long story short, but we actually made it longer. Long story <laughs> lengthened. <laughs> We've decided <laughs> to stay all night. Like, we're back at our hotel now. We're going to do a dip in the pool. We wanted to do the video for you guys. And then we are going to go finish packing up. We're going to take our stuff over to the other hotel. We're going to ask guest services to hold on to it. We're going to go and hang out. And then we're just going to leave there at 4 a.m. to go to the airport. airport. That's where the airplanes are. I lost the word, dude. I lost What it. could go wrong? <laughs> Stay up all night, get liquored up, go to the airport at 4 a.m. It sounds like a solid plan. So that's what we're doing. We decided. Maybe we are horrible parents. <laughs> well, our kids aren't here. Oh. <laughs> so we are the moms of furries. And we were, we were walking by. And there's lots of people. And um, some moms. <laughs> and there are a lot of people that don't. Well, no, they knew us. They knew we were the moms of furries. And they said, where are your kids? <laughs> They're not sad. here. Kids? Well, we, the funny thing is we hadn't prepared an answer to that question. Because we didn't even think about who would possibly <laughs> ask about our children. <laughs> so we just went so like this. So the blue. Where are your children? <laughs> <laughs> but... So if anybody else is asking, but you weren't brave enough to, to, to like ask us directly, or if you want to know, but you weren't, um, they're home. We, our middle children go to a middle school that starts Monday. So they're preparing for school and I've always been here. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I've been here. I did a red eye late Friday night and we leave at four o'clock in the morning. So like a day and a quarter to day. Ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Do the older children go to older school? And the youngest children, they go to younger school. <laughs> wait, wait, ready, go. Alright, so. <laughs> Hold it together because you look like I'm you're fine. about to bust. I'm fine. Mm. Okay. So, they didn't have time to come. They couldn't come. They couldn't come. It didn't make sense to spend all that money to fly them out for a day and a half. No, honestly, yeah. We knew that we had, like, this was really our one solid day. And we did expect to really be going from dusk till dawn. And we... And it's just clearly not. we have, since we are idiots now. We are being idiots now. But we... And there's no way. We couldn't... We could... Our our teenagers probably could hang pretty well, but we couldn't bring them and not bring the. It's it would have been two hotels and several cars. <clears throat> for just logistics. for a day, yeah. So for logistics, like, it no. wasn't good. But you know, they're. It sounds like they're being slighted, but they're going to Anthro Northwest and they're going to Fur Con soon, again, and yeah. who knows what else may happen. So um, they're not being slighted. We just said we're going to focus. They're, just they're very supportive of us being here. They really wanted us to come and and you know have a presence here. So yeah. So it sounds bad that we left them, but. We were just not prepared for the question, which is yeah. a very reasonable, valid question to ask moms of furries, where are the kids? It is. And, but we're like this. <laughs> we have to prepare an answer. Home. And obviously, it was a well thought out answer, since we're both crying. <clears throat> So, but that was fun. So, okay. w day two was wonderful. It was hands down just an amazing day. I, it's so weird because of such the, the, 
emotional swing from yesterday to today because today I feel like is one of the best con days we've had. Definitely. I mean, yeah, it's and in it's the top all, three. It's, it's all of the people, all of the furries. What? It's in the top three cons. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, it's been it's been a great day. So we want to say thank you for hanging out with us. We are sorry that this is rambling a bit, but we really are exhausted. But it's a good we'll exhausted. Try to edit a little bit. We're not going to edit a lot because you guys know us by now. We don't have those skills. So. If you are not a subscriber, we hope that you will consider subscribing. Click like if you are so inclined, and if you would like to be notified when we post a new video, click the little bell icon. And if you are new to our channel, we would encourage you to go all the way back to the beginning yeah. to see our first video where we discover fur cons with our children, and we want to share the message of how great the fandom is. Yes, and if you are okay. at Megaplex, Give us a comment about your favorite experience this year. If you aren't at Megaplex and have been to other cons, we'd like to hear your favorite thing or your favorite con. Let us know. All right, guys. Remember, we love you, and we're sorry we're a bit extra silly tonight. Yeah. <laughs>